My birthday is in a few days. I don't know when I'm gonna upload this video. It may already be my birthday when I upload this video. My husband said that I could pick out a couple of bookish things for my birthday, so I would really love a new book mug because if you don't know, I have a pretty good mug collection going. I love collecting mugs, especially bookish mugs, and I haven't gotten a new one in a long time. Say hi. Say hi. So I'm gonna pick out a bookish mug and maybe a book sleeve and I would love a new book candle because I only have a couple and I love book candles. They're just, can get expensive so I don't have that much because you know. We had gotta buy stuff for the kids. Can you tell them? I thought it would be a cool idea to take you guys along with me to show you like which shops I'm looking at and what I'm gonna pick out for my birthday. And in case anyone is curious, I also have a um, Amazon book wish list, which I'll link in the description below. Just some books for my birthday that would be so awesome to have. I made it mostly for my husband and my family, but I thought I'd share it with you guys as well. This is my first like vlog, so we'll see how it goes, but I'll check back in here in a little bit. I just did my coffee for like the third or fourth or fifth time. I tried to record a review video earlier while Sophie was napping, but it didn't exactly work out. It took me a long time to get it set up because our office is like right next to her bedroom. I don't want to be too loud in there. So I didn't want to record in there. I couldn't figure out where I wanted to set up. And then by the time I set up and started talking, she woke up from her nap. So we'll see. I might try and record tomorrow. My husband's going to be home from work. So I think I may just try and get that done while he's here and can watch the baby. And I'll try and maybe do like three or four different recordings so I have some good stuff and I don't have to worry about it. I'm gonna go drink my coffee. She just woke up from her nap. We're probably gonna play a little bit and then I will get on and kind of show you guys what I'm looking at. Does it make me a child that I'm eating Cheerios with my toddler? They're delicious so and these ones have like oats in them so I guess that makes me more of an adult right? people do the whole like watch me cook thing or whatever but I don't know I'm not good at that so let me show you what we're having though Hi. so I think we're gonna have some lunch and then after our lunch we will put her down for a nap probably and then we're gonna start looking at some goodies picking a shop that I want to get this stuff from is going to be so difficult. I have a little like saved tab on my Instagram where I've saved like different companies that I'd really like to purchase things from. So I have a little list going. Let's see my list here. Just to make it a little easier because otherwise, I swear to you, I could spend hours just digging through everything trying to figure out what i want to buy and i don't have hours i'm just going to narrow it down to a few companies i think i think i'm going to stick to ones that i don't have anything yet from that way i can kind of get a variety of things i do have favorite shops but i think i want to try to expand and support some other shops that i haven't supported yet so we'll see Yesterday didn't happen. Um, the baby woke up screaming. She's been teething like crazy. I can't blame her. Um, so I spent a lot of the afternoon and evening yesterday um, just hanging out with her. And then my husband got home. He had a long day. So I just, I took the time off to spend with my family. Today, my husband is home, has the day off. He's gonna help out. So I just uh, finished doing my makeup and letting my hair dry before I scrunch it out and whatnot. So, um, I'm gonna go get some coffee and I'm gonna film a few videos for you guys. I'm super excited. And we're going to look at the bookish mugs, look at the bookish candles, 
Maybe I'll get some reading done today. Um, I would like to start All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover. I may or may not have feelings that I didn't expect to have for it, so we'll see in a later review. Hopefully I'll get some reading done today, look at all the good bookish stuff with you guys. Then later, my daughter has a thing at school, so then we're just gonna take the night off. I'm gonna go get my second cup of coffee this morning because I think it's gonna be a long day. I've been waiting to do this for two days now, so I'm doing it. <laughs> Here we go. We're gonna look at um, book mugs. There's one particular shop I've had my eye on for a while, so I'm gonna kind of take you guys through her shop. It's called Bookworm Boutique, and I'm looking at her Society6 shop, which if you've never bought anything from Society6, I love them. I find that sometimes the products can be a little more expensive on Society6 than if you were to go to an Etsy shop, but they have like an amazing return policy. I've had to return things only once or twice, but each time they were like so spectacular about it. They were fast, they were quick, like it, they have great customer service. The nice thing about Society6 is that with different artists, if you like a design that they've done, because there's so many different products like pillowcases and art and blankets and whatever, if you like a design, you can find that on anything else. So if I find like, oh, I really like this on a book mug, I would also really like this on a pillowcase. I can buy it in both and it'll just get shipped together. I am on Bookworm Boutique Society 6 right now. I am going to filter this by coffee mugs. I specifically wanted a new mug. I kind of really want a pillowcase too, but you know, there's only so much I can buy and I think right now I would rather have a mug and some candles than a pillowcase. She has so many designs, so I am not going to go through probably all of these. I'm just going to filter it by bestsellers because I could spend like hours just going through her stuff. Okay, I love this one. It's so cute. It says, please go away. I'm reading. It's absolutely adorable. I love that one. I love the way that it takes up the whole mug and the font and everything. It's so cute. They also have it in black but I think I like the white better. Oh, I love this one. It says professional bookworm. Super cute, totally fits me. And it would be look really cute in photos. Sometimes we need fantasy to survive reality. That one's a good, a good one too. Oh, I love the design on this one. It says book queen and it has like leaves around it. Oh my gosh. I think this might be my favorite. Mostly because it has a little bit of color in it. It's just really cute. Okay, isn't this the truth? Too many books, I think what you mean, not enough bookshelves. Ain't that the truth for all of us, right? Like Marie Kondo, Kondo, however you say her name, 30 books, are you kidding me? I could not limit myself to only 30 books. No, I like having my collection of books. It brings me joy. So you know what, Marie? All my books bring me joy. I cannot limit them to 30. Okay, this one's cute too. Sleep is good, books are better. I actually showed this one to my husband and he said, mmm, but sleep is so good. No, books. We sacrifice our sleep for books, right? Yes, I like my books long and my coffee strong. If that ain't me, I don't know what is. That's another contender. Oh, do I want books long, coffee strong, or the book queen? Oh, this one's adorable. I love you to the bookstore and back. That's so sweet. Okay, this one's really cute too. If I didn't have an eight-year-old who could read, I would get it. I don't need her questioning that and thinking I don't want her running around school saying that stuff. So I would totally buy this if I didn't have kids. I don't know. I think I'm gonna let my husband pick between Book Queen and I like my books long and my coffee strong because I love both of them and I don't know which one. So let's move on to candles. There are literally like a bazillion candle companies out there and i am such an indecisive person i have such a hard time coming up with decisions and figuring things out so it almost like stresses me out trying to decide which company to buy for i've decided on three different bookish candle companies and we're just gonna go through those three and see what they have so the first one wick and fable i'm just gonna go through bestsellers and kind of go through the, maybe the first couple of pages and see what they have and see what i like Oh, they have a Rise candle. I love Rise. A Court of Mist and Fury was one of my favorite books. The first book in the series and the last book in the series were very mediocre for me, but that middle book, man, she killed it. So I may need to get a Rise candle. I don't have any A Court 
of Thorns and Roses, Cord Mist and Fury. I don't have any candles or really merch for that series. So that might be good. And the Night Court. So Rise and the Night Court, those are both good. Looks like there's a lot of Outlander candles, which I haven't read Outlander, but I really want to. I think it sounds like a series that I would really enjoy. I don't know about the writing though, unpopular opinion. I did not enjoy the Lord of the Rings writing. I did not enjoy Tolkien's writing. Um, for me, it was like way too descriptive. It took way too long to get to the point. I did not need an entire page and a half dedicated to telling me about how grassy a hill was. Like that's just just not how I read and I lose interest really fast. I'm all for descriptive and atmospheric and world building. I'm all for that, but I, I just, I couldn't get into, I couldn't connect with Tolkien's writing. And so I don't know if the Outlander writing is similar to Tolkien's writing, because if it is, then I probably wouldn't enjoy the books. I know I would love the Outlander story. I just don't know if I could get into the actual books, but I would love to give them a try someday and watch the show because I know I would be like all about it. I would love another Harry Potter candle, but I do want to get something that I don't have anything of yet. So since I have so much Harry Potter stuff, I don't want to buy another Harry Potter candle when I already have so much, if that makes sense. There's a Feyre candle, Rises Inner Circle, Rowan. People have so many mixed feelings, but I love Rowan. Ooh, Stars Hollow. So I just started um, watching Gilmore Girls. I really haven't like gotten too, too far into it, but I love it so far. Coffee at Luke's. There are a lot of Lord of the Rings ones too, like The Shire, which that one sounds really good. Same thing, I already have some Lord of the Rings merch, so I don't wanna buy any more. Six of Crows might be good. She has a Kaz one. Oh, yep, there's Inej and Nina. Ooh, Fireheart. I don't have any Throne of Glass merch either, so. Fireheart might be a good one. Okay, I like this assassin candle. It's from the Assassin's Blade, which are the set of novellas in the Throne of Glass series. And even though it's made for Throne of Glass, I don't know, it can kind of be universal, I think. Oh, even though I'm not gonna buy a Harry Potter one, this Giggle Water one is super cute and it sounds like it would smell really good. The next company is Flick the Wick. I have seen these candles all over Bookstagram, at least for the people that I follow. People rave about how good they smell, so, I'm gonna take a look. Okay, right off the bat, I see lots of A Court of Mist and Fury, Valaris. Okay, I might have to get this one. If I could visit a fictional place, Valaris is at the top of my list or one of the top places. They also have a Rise candle, so. Oh, as more of a general one, they have a bookshop cafe, so that's super cute and that might be fun to just kind of have on display on my shelves, just as not necessarily a specific fandom. And it smells like coffee, so I'm a coffee junkie. That's my thing. There's a bunch of fandoms on here I'm not familiar with though. Like Strange the Dreamer, I'd love to read that someday. Don't know it. King of Scars, The Cruel Prince, To All the Boys I Loved Before. This Aelin candle is really cute. It says Aelin Fireheart. That one might be good. And Queen of Terrison, but they're sold out. Otherwise, I love, love, love the label design on this one. Bibliophile, this one's really cute. They also have a Kaz. Looks like they have two Kazes. Kaz Brecker and then Dirty Hands. Oh, I like this Inej one. It says the wraith. It has like the wings. Oh, it's cute. I also like this Feyre High Lady. The label design on this looks really good and it matches Rises, just a different color. So maybe if I can talk my husband into getting me two, those would be a good match. I love the way this Bookstagram candle looks, but I don't know that I want a candle that smells like clean cotton. And so is this Book Hoarder candle, but it's sold out. I'm going to move on now to In the Wick of Time. This is another company I've seen all over my Instagram. Let's see what the best sellers are. The number one on the best sellers list is Stars Hollow. Maybe I just need to give in and get a Gilmore's candle. I do like their Rise candle and Court of Dreams and Court of Nightmares. Ooh, Selena's apartment. I love the way this looks too. Oh, they have a candle for Sam my heart. Lots of Harry Potter candles. I'm not going to buy them, but they are really cute. That was all of the candles I'm going to go through. Um, I think my favorites right now are Selena's apartment, which smells like Avery Breeze, bookshelves, and berry tarts. It sounds like it smells amazing, and I really love the label design on it. And that one is from In the Wick of Time. I also really like Valaris from Flick the Wick. 
and that one smells like jasmine, sea breeze, and citrus. I really like the Bookshop Cafe. It smells like coffee. I love coffee. I don't have a coffee scented candle right now, so I may really like that. There's always airplanes flying over our house. A couple more from With the Fable. I know I said I didn't want a Harry Potter one, but I just saw Tea with Hagrid. I love Hagrid. Who doesn't love Hagrid? He's just like a big giant teddy bear. So Tea with Hagrid smells like Earl Grey tea leaves, shaved nutmeg, and caramel spices. That's like, that's my candle, oh my God. And they have a Bookish Nights candle. Bookish Nights smells like soft cozy throw, vanilla bean, and cashmere cream. I'm not sure what cashmere cream is, but that sounds so good. I think I would really like this one. All right, I need to go get my husband. I'm gonna let him decide which candle and which mug. We'll be back. So my husband does not wanna be part of the decision process because he knows nothing about books. So I'm just gonna make the decision, which is so hard for me. All right, the mug winner is going to be Book Queen. I just really love the, the design of this one. I love the leaves around it. I think it's super cute. And she has another one that's a book princess. So maybe someday soon for my daughters, I can get them a book princess. How cute would that be? Mama's over here sipping her coffee as a book queen and my eight year old sitting next to me sipping her hot cocoa as a book princess. It would be adorable. Okay, and for candles, Wiccan Fable is actually having a buy one, get one half off sale right now. So I'm gonna buy through them so I can get two candles instead of one. My top two choices are Tea with Hagrid. I know I said I wasn't going to get a Harry Potter candle, but Tea with Hagrid, it's so unique. I haven't seen another candle like Hagrid candle. It sounds like it smells really good and it's Harry Potter and I love Harry Potter. There will never be enough Harry Potter items for me to have. Okay, candle two that I'm going to get from them, Bookish Nights. This candle sounds like it smells so good. It's not tied to a particular fandom, which is fine. I kind of wanted to get one, but this candle is just, I love it. I love the design on it. It looks so cozy. I am all about cozy. It's going to look gorgeous in photos. It's going to smell delicious when I light it. It's going to give me all the vibes I want when I'm reading. And there you have it. That's going to be my birthday gifts. My husband is letting me pick out my gifts this year because I really wanted some of these and he just doesn't, he doesn't know enough about any of the bookish stuff to really like have his own opinion to get me something as a surprise. So this was it. I am beyond excited. If anybody wants to be so generous, I do have an Amazon birthday book wish list, which I'll put in the description below. Well, this was really fun. As my first vlog, I really enjoyed like taking you guys kind of through my days. I love feedback um, on what you liked about it, what you didn't like about it, if certain things needed to be longer, if I could have added more. I am always open to feedback, whether it's positive or negative, as long as the negative is constructive. Thank you again. I really appreciate all of you being here. I'm going to be trying to post twice a week. I haven't decided which days yet. I'll let you know in upcoming videos. You can find me on my other social medias in the description box below. I will see you all later.